DIY is some scissors and some string. Preferably it is best to use string that's called twine or sizzle string. The reason that you can't really, you shouldn't really use this is because it is bleached to get the colour to be white. However, if your pets don't really chew, then you, I guess you could always use this, but it's just preferred to use twine. You will also need some toilet roll tubes. I have eight here, I believe, and it depends on how big you want your bridge to be. Don't put the holes too near to the edge of the toilet roll tube or it might split. And then, unfortunately, you just have to repeat this process with all the toilet roll tubes. I recommend that you just put, put some TV on or put some music on while you do so. Once you have pierced all of your toilet rolls, then you take your string. If you would like to cut your string to size beforehand, then you can do so. However, I've decided not to just because I'm conscious that I'll be threading them on and then the string will be too short and then I'll have to start again and... I can't be bothered to try and waste my time doing that. So this is what it should look like when you start threading the string through the toilet roll tubes. If you have a pen, you can use that to help push the string through the holes as it is kind of fiddly. Um, you're also going to need two pieces of string, one for each side of the holes. So you just put, the st for each toilet roll tube, you put the string through two holes and you do that again for the other piece of string. As you can see here. And then you just have to repeat the process with all of the toilet roll tubes. It is a fiddly process and it does take quite a while so it is important that you do have your music playing or watch some TV or YouTube whilst you're doing this. As you can see the boat bridge is starting to come together. There's a few that are a bit out of line, however I don't think this will matter too much. But this is why you need to get the holes in the right place otherwise you'll have them out of line. And now all you want to do is tie a knot on the end of each hole, however don't cut it yet, just tie a knot so that the tubes stay in place. You can also tie the string and make a little loop as you can see here to put clips on so it's easier to attach to the cage. So it's kind of fiddly and hard to see what I'm doing but you just tie little knots and make it into like a big knot so that the string doesn't fall out of place or anything. And then you can also make a loop as well. It is a little bit tr uh, tricky and I wasn't very good at it, but it is, you'll be able to manage to do so if you do want to attach clips to it. I'm trying to make sure that the strings are in the same measurement as well. Once you have finished tying the double knots into the ends and making loops if you choose to do so on all four sides, then you are complete. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.